Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Sunday School. Today, we are starting a new sermon series titled, I Didn't Sign Up For This. Have you all felt that in the past, however long it's been, what, five months? That all of this change, all of these things, you didn't sign up for. You didn't sign up to not be able to finish out a school year, to not be able to play sports in the same ways, to not be able to finish activities that you had signed up for. All of those things, everything is different. Even going to the grocery store is different and it's changed. And sometimes we don't know how to act about change. So there are many different scriptures that Pastor Stephen will be referring to in his sermons this week. But today I want to highlight one for us. It's Hebrews 13, 8. It says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So now, while we have experienced change, we have experienced these things that are so hard to understand, or we can't even deal with what emotions are coming out of this, that we have felt all of these, uh, all of the uncertainty. There are so, much, so many things going on around us that we don't understand, that the, um, the virus has taken over our world. It's taken over our community. It's taken over our lives. Many people are living in fear. They are scared. They're scared to go out. They're scared to do anything. And I don't know if you all have that same fear or if your family does or if you, are, you have even had a scare of the virus that you've been quarantined or if you have, um, you've known someone with the virus, if you've had the virus, that there have been so many different things that have changed the way that we've lived. That I never even imagined that there would be a time that everyone would have to wear a mask just to go out in the world. So with, throughout all this change, throughout all these things that are different, that may seem scary or uncertain, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so this really helps us relate to the constant that we have in Christ, in God, in, <clears throat> in the realm of our spiritual lives. I hope that you've taken some time in the past few months to really to read your Bible, to pray more, to have those conversations with friends or family about your faith to really be able to delve deeper into who God is for you. But then knowing that though these times are scary, that change change happens, that God is constant, is there, um, is reliable, faithful, full of grace and mercy. And I think the first step to that is acknowledging that God is there. And there's a prayer, and I think we did it during prayer stations last fall, that we talked about the examine prayer. It's a prayer that invites you to think about your day. And you think about a time that you experienced God, felt God, um, knew that God's presence was with you. You experienced God in a new and different way. Um, or that you just acknowledged that God was there. You could feel God. You saw God in something or someone. So if you Google the examine prayer, it leads you through the different steps, because there are a few steps to it. But one of the main ones is recognizing God in the every day, in your everyday life whenever everything is just flowing like normal. So I would invite you to check that out. It's a, it's a unique prayer in that it does ask you to walk through your day differently and to be able to interact with the ways that you've seen God at work. But again, the scripture, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That God's never changing. God is the same. God is always there. God is always going to act and react and know that you are reaching out to him to know that he is there. So if you take the time this week, today, every day, every week, whenever, and do this exam and prayer, but even if you don't do the whole thing, that you take the time to examine a day or a time of the day that you knew that God was with you, that you felt God in a way that you, um, you just knew God was there. I would invite you to do that this week. 
And so as we are still doing these Sunday school lessons together online, and we've had youth a couple times over the summer, we were able to do our t-shirts and that was a great time. That we also um, are going to have a pool party. So I don't know if you've seen my text or my email, but we will have a pool party at the Brooks house on the 30th. So that's the day before CMCSS starts. So just to unwind for a couple hours from 3 to 5, 5.30ish, and we'll have dinner together, be able to play in the pool and just have fun. And so I hope you're able to make it. Please RSVP to me, and I'm going to ask through text and email for RSVPs as well so we can plan for food. But again, I would love for you all to come to be able to unwind together and to start the school year off right. So I hope to see you all soon, and so I hope that you all are watching these Sunday School videos and getting something out of them. And I hope that we are united again. It, it might be a while. This change is still happening. So it might be a while before we're all back to normal. But know that God is never changing. And you have something to rely on that will always be there for you.